Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for uh, taking your seats and for joining us uh, on this uh, very happy occasion uh, uh, as we start the launch of the Faculty of the Agricultural Life and Environmental Sciences Group uh, within the University of Alberta. Before I start, I do want to acknowledge uh, the events of today in Ottawa and, of course, earlier in this week uh, uh, in Quebec. Uh, we're, of course, uh, extremely concerned about uh, the, the tragedy of those events, and, and we certainly acknowledge uh, uh, the people who have, uh, have lost family and friends uh, through this process. Today, uh, we are certainly celebrating the Faculty of Ailes in that uh, 100 years. You are all extremely welcome. Uh, we have a, a large group here within the audience. We have a number of others uh, uh, that are watching us by streaming video across Canada and around the world with so many of our partners. Uh, so we are just very grateful that you found your way uh, to come and help us to launch the celebration of our centennial. Just want to acknowledge a few people, and you will hear from a number of them in a moment or two, uh, the Honorable Verlin Olson, the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, uh, Mr. Steve Young, MLA for Edmonton Riverview, uh, the City of uh, Edmonton Councillor, Michael Walters, who you will also hear from. And I know that there are a number of our supporting mayors from various municipalities, uh, Mr. Tom Flynn from the mayor, of, the mayor of Sturgeon County, Mr. Bill Elliott, the mayor of the City of Wetaskiwin, uh, Mr. Rob Shagick from the mayor of, uh, the mayor of Parkland County, uh, Jim Palmer, the mayor from the village of Chipman, Leanne Beaupre, the reeve of the county of Grand Prairie, and we also have, and I realize it's dark now, but uh, I certainly would like to also acknowledge uh, the representation of four members from the Chinese Academy of Forestry, who just serendipitously happen to be here as well, that they will be uh, uh, partaking in this afternoon ceremony as well. So. Thank you everyone uh, for coming and just getting a, a sense of some of the things that are going on today. Uh, this is the centennial of a remarkable faculty. You will have already seen out in the foyer the uh, book that we have developed, A Century of Solutions, which just captures a little feel for the sorts of things that have gone on within this faculty over uh, the period of 100 years. Uh, and we are just extremely uh, both grateful for the work that has gone on and we're certainly looking forward to things that will happen uh, uh, in the future as well. Our first speaker that uh, is going to speak to us today uh, is pres our president of the university, Dr. Indira Samarsakara. She's been president of the University of Alberta since 2005. In that time, she has moved the university toward forward on many fronts, including establishing a renewed vision, completing nearly $1.5 billion in capital construction, opening the downtown campus of our university, creating the School of Public Health, and forging strong international partnerships. She's always been a great friend and an advocate for the faculty of Ailes, and it's my pleasure to introduce her today. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Samar Sakara. Thank you very much, Sam. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Minister Verlin Olson, uh, Councillor Walters, colleagues, friends, thank you all for joining us uh, today. I'd also like to welcome our uh, dis uh, discussion panel members, the Right Honorable Kim Campbell, founding principal of the Peter Lloyd Leadership College, former Premier Ed Stelmack, a horticulturist and business owner and former member of our Board of Governors and Senate, Jim Hall, uh, Janet Fast, uh, Professor of Human Ecology, and William Shorik, Professor and Bocock Chair in Agriculture and Environment. Warm welcome to all of you uh, this afternoon as well. It is truly an honor to launch the Faculty of Ale Centennial Celebration. We are celebrating uh, this faculty's rich history as well as recognizing its very bright future. Founded in 1915 as the Faculty of Agriculture, it began humbly with a class of 16 students. The faculty grew from there and quickly became an integral part of our campus. When I look back at its storied history, the faculty has clearly delivered on Henry Marshall Torrey's promise to uplift the whole people. For example, in 1918, the Home Economics Program was launched. This was especially significant at the time as it provided women with the opportunity to pursue a post-secondary education. 
This was at a time when very few universities in North America, uh, particularly so-called leading universities, uh, accepted women. So we were really, really ahead of our time. Following the First and Second World Wars, with government support, the faculty accepted a large number of war veterans in order to provide them with an education and applicable post-war skills and knowledge. The work of our researchers has been transformative. Gary Stringham's development of quantum canola literally saved Canada's canola crops from being wiped out by black leg disease. Fred Bentley's work in soil science and sustainable agriculture that improved crop production throughout the world, especially in semi-arid tropical regions. Betty Crown's research in textile flammability, our children sleep more safely in the flame-resistant pajamas as a result of her efforts, and workers in the energy industry wear more protective clothing as do forest fire fighters. That leadership continues today. Ailes is at the forefront of research which will help address significant global challenges in food security and safety, the environment and environmental reclamation, bioresource development, and personal and community well-being. The work conducted by the faculty is both impactful and diverse. Some of this research includes discovering how to turn poultry proteins into plastics for bottles, glues, and packaging, and animal fats and crop seed oils into all types of fuels, while others investigating the impact of an aging population on society and the effects of climate change on our communities and our forests. Ailes and its reputation for excellence continues to be a major part of our campus and has strengthened our global reputation. In fact, it played a vital role in the establishment of a landmark international partnership for the U of A, the Helmholtz Alberta Initiative. Our research agreement with the Helmholtz Association of German Research Centers devoted to research around solutions to major global challenges relating to energy and environment, our ecosystem and health. It is one of the university's most significant research partnerships and has helped elevate the University of Alberta globally. Clearly, the faculty of Ailes has played an important part in the growth not only of our university but our province as well. To students, to faculty, to alumni, friends, donors, and partners who have been part of Ailes throughout its history, thank you. You have really helped build Ailes into what it is today, one of the top faculties on campus and a transformative leader in research and education, addressing major global challenges related to food security and safety, the environment, bioresource innovation, and personal and public health and well-being. Congratulations for an exceptional 100 years. Thank you very much, President Samara Sakara. Uh, just two people that I would also acknowledge from the University of Alberta. Uh, amongst many of our friends and supporters, uh, I know that uh, Board Chair Doug Goss uh, is uh, lurking about somewhere in the audience. And I would like to acknowledge the presence of my predecessor, Dr. Uh, Dean John Connelly, uh, who uh, led our faculty for, for 10 years. You will, I'm sure, see both of them uh, during the reception. Our next guest is no stranger to, uh, to our faculty. Uh, the Honorable Verlin Olson is Alberta's Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development. Minister Olson is a lawyer who was first elected to the Alberta Legislature as the member for Wetaskan Camrose in 2008. During his first term as MLA, he served as Minister of Justice and Attorney General. And in 2012, we were very lucky to have him appointed to his current portfolio in Agriculture and Rural Development. We're very pleased to have him here with us today to say a few words on behalf of the Government of Alberta. Please help us to welcome Minister Olson.
The thank you, uh, Stan, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be here to greet you on behalf of Premier Prentice and uh, all of my colleagues. Uh, I want to acknowledge uh, my fellow speakers here on the podium right now and also the, the people who will be involved in the panel discussion. I think we're in for a very interesting afternoon uh, and I'm uh, looking forward to hearing the comments that are about to be made. Uh, as Agriculture Minister, uh, I feel as though, I'm, I'm still relatively new at the job, about two years, a little over two years, but I feel as though uh, I am standing in the shadows of uh, some great agriculture ministers uh, who went before me, uh, not the least of which is my friend and colleague and former boss, Ed Stelmack. So I'm, I'm always... Uh, It was mentioned by Stan that I'm actually a lawyer, and I think there are a lot of people scratching their heads when I was appointed as Minister of Agriculture, and uh, so I'm uh, intimidated when I have to speak in front of a real farmer who is an ag minister, uh, such as Ed. But uh, it is an, uh, a real pleasure to do this job and uh, to get to observe the work that is done within my ministry, but also uh, within the University of Alberta and this faculty. And it's great to be here to celebrate with you uh, the wonderful history of uh, this faculty and the relationship uh, of it and uh, our ministry. And, you know, really, I think about this often that, that as Albertans, we, are, uh, we have very deep roots in agriculture, and for many of us, that's probably why our ancestors came here, is because there is the opportunity to farm, uh, to own land, uh, and uh, they were innovators. And um, that's still the story in rural Alberta, has been for the last hundred years. Uh, people face big challenges, and they innovate, they, they're determined, and they find solutions to problems. And I, I would say that's been the history of uh, the Ministry of Agriculture and has very much been the history of uh, the Ailes faculty in its various forms over the years. And when I say various forms, it is interesting that there's another parallel, I would say, between uh, my ministry and this faculty in that they have evolved in many interesting ways over the years. My former Deputy Minister, John Knapp, uh, told me early on in my tenure as agriculture minister, and he actually showed me the report from an early annual report uh, of the ministry to the Alberta legislature uh, many, well, probably close to 100 years ago. Uh, the ministry was responsible for hospitals, uh, and that still sends a shudder up my spine when, when I think about uh, what, what could be. Uh, but the ministry has evolved many ways, and uh, the faculty also has evolved in, in many ways. And it does things now, it's responsible for things uh, that it wasn't in the early days. But we live in a very complex society, it's uh, very diverse, and uh, this faculty has its hands in many different aspects of life in Alberta. And uh, I do sometimes bemoan the fact that I think that uh, the average person, the average citizen may not really appreciate the importance of the work that is done by a faculty like this. Uh, I like to say, especially to urban audiences, I like to ask the question, so do you like to eat? Uh, because I think that underscores the importance of agriculture, agricultural pursuits, and all of the research and innovation that is uh, often started and led by universities and faculties like this. One of the constants, I would say, is really the, the innovation and always being out there uh, on the cutting edge. And our government is certainly committed, and my ministry is certainly committed to working with the faculty uh, in solving many problems, dealing with many issues that, that we face. And so that's part of the, the grand tradition. There's another uh, little thing I want to just talk about, though, uh, and that's that when I was first appointed to this ministry, one, uh, another former ag minister, actually, uh, Doug Horner, told me, you're going to love this ministry. It's one of the best ministries. And uh, that's been my experience. And I would say it's because it's a relationship ministry. 
Uh, it's all about relationships, community. Uh, we really like to reinforce that within the ministry, but you very much see that displayed within this faculty as well. I used to live with an Aggie when I was a law student here. Uh, and uh, I think probably there would be some nodding of the heads at the suggestion that we had kind of a grudging respect for the Aggies and perhaps even a, a grudging admiration. Because they were relationship people, they're very close, uh, they lived uh, in a way that uh, they celebrated life, uh, they weren't afraid of hard work, and they were innovators. And that's something that I hope in the coming hundred years this faculty will, will hang on to. Uh, you've done a wonderful job in promoting that culture, and we see that culture bubble up around the province and certainly within our ministry, and it's thanks to the roots uh, of that kind of a culture that, are, that really are found, I'd say, on this campus and, and here. So there are lots of reasons why uh, we're happy to be here today. Uh, and I know that the Premier would have loved to have been here, but uh, he sends his regrets. Uh, I know that he's a great supporter of this faculty and this university. And I want to, on his behalf and on behalf of uh, my colleagues, thank you, thank the faculty and everybody involved for the great work that you do. And we look forward to a continuing very profitable partnership for the benefit of all Albertans. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minister Olson. Our next guest is the City of Edmonton Councillor for Ward 10, which includes the South Campus of the University of Alberta, where there are so many ALES activities that go on. As you have probably heard in the media in the last couple of days, uh, Councillor Walters has just celebrated his first anniversary uh, uh, on council, uh, but of course he has been involved in the community for many years. Uh, among some of his accomplishments, uh, he led the Greater Edmonton Alliance in convincing City Council to create a citywide food and urban agriculture strategy. It's with uh, great pleasure that I would ask you to welcome Councillor Michael Walters to the podium. Good afternoon, everybody. It's actually my, my long road to city council started on a farm, uh, as many of our, our roads uh, began. Uh, in Winfield, my family actually grew up in Drayton Valley, where I'm from, but my grandparents homesteaded uh, near Winfield, and I would go back with two older cousins, all of us boys, uh, for the summers when we were in school, and as the youngest of those boys, I was reclassified by my grandmother as a girl, and taken under her wing as her apprentice. So therefore, I've learned, you know, pickling, canning, gardening, all the important upstream processing uh, uh, pieces of the agricultural industry, which I've now passed on to my two sons, who are boys. And uh, my son emailed me, uh, he's 10, he emailed me a while ago. It was the funniest email. Dad, I think it's about time we made cabbage rolls again. So, <laughs> you know, the value of food and agriculture in our families, and I'm, uh, as we all recognize, it's really important, and I'm really grateful to be here. It's, uh, uh, to be here among all the distinguished guests on behalf of the City Council and our Mayor, who can't be here today, and the people of Edmonton, I'm pleased uh, that the University of Alberta's Faculty of Ag, Agriculture, Life, and Envi Environmental Sciences uh, are celebrating this great centennial celebration. 100 years is quite a milestone. When you look back over the past century, a lot has changed in our city. Edmonton had just become a city in 1904 with a population of only 5,000 people. Today, 30,000 people move here every year. Uh, by 1915, our population had grown to more than 72,000 before falling sharply uh, after World War I. And much has changed within the faculty uh, uh, over that time. With no staff, no facilities, and only 16 students in 1915, the faculty has grown to more than 1,500 undergraduate students, 500 graduate students, 120 faculty members. Today, Ailes is recognized as a world leader in research and innovation for some of the most pressing global issues like food security, community health, and natural resource development, all issues very close to home for this city. And while much of this work has global implications, this work and its impacts can be felt right here in Edmonton. In the course of everyday life, Edmontonians experience a strong connection to nature 
and our rich biodiversity. Our goal is to become a more sustainable and a more resilient city to reduce our carbon footprint and become a leader in energy efficiency and in conservation. Research in this faculty helps provide information on the wise management and understanding of our natural resources and, a, and how we can create and ensure a healthy environment for the generations to come. And with a highly educated workforce, strong infrastructure, and an entrepreneurial spirit, Edmonton also continues to look for new economic opportunities, particularly in emerging technologies like bioresource innovation. The Biorefining Conservation Network is notable within the faculty and is bringing together the research skills that sets to develop and advance these exciting technologies. And this will help create new jobs, stimulate investment, and strengthen an already strong economy in our city and in our province. And more than the economy, the measure of any great city is the quality of life of its citizens. So here in Edmonton, our citizens enjoy, by world standards as we know, an exceptional quality of life. It's a welcoming, inclusive, and safe, and attractive place for everybody who comes here to live. The programs and services and policies and gov of government and organizations like this all have an impact. The close examination and evaluation of these programs, services, and policies uh, by the students, led by the students and faculty of Ailes, has allowed us, as a city, to improve the lives of our citizens on personal, family, community, municipal levels. Your expertise, in particular, on aging, children, youth and family studies, and human ecology has informed and in guided decisions at City Council for a long time. And I want to commend the University of Alberta, the faculty, the members, students, past and present, for your continued commitment to excellence. So over the past 100 years, you've not only helped establish yourselves as world leaders in research and innovation, across diverse fields of study, you helped us, those of us on Council today and in the past, build a stronger and healthier city. And in the next 100 years, and I know uh, my regional, some of my regional colleagues are here today, uh, we have some serious regional challenges around agriculture and around land and around uh, value-added uh, food processing, I think. And we know, I should say, not that we think, we know that this faculty will continue to play a major role in shaping uh, agricultural policies, particularly in this region, for a long time. So I wish you a memorable year of celebrations and continued success and uh, grateful for your passion, your enthusiasm, and your ideas. Thank you for having me here today.